All right, so Saxon course two, lesson 15, is on equivalent fractions and then reducing fractions, part one. So equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal to the same thing, but have different names. So I want to find an equivalent fraction for two thirds that has a denominator of 12. So I want two thirds to equal something that has a denominator of 12. So I need to think, what fraction am I going to multiply this by to, e to get the denominator of 12. So 3 times what equals 12? Well, 3 times 4 equals 12. And since this has to equal, since my fraction has to equal 1, I have to multiply the top by 4 as well. Because 4 fourths is equal to 1. And I know if I multiply any number by 1, it's the same number. All we're doing here is changing the name. So I have 3 times 4 equals 12. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So my answer is going to be 8 twelfths is my equivalent fraction. On this next one, find the equivalent fraction to 1 third that has a denominator of 6. Next, find it a fraction equivalent to 1 half with a denominator of 6. And then add those two fractions. So we're going to take it step by step. So first, I need to find a fraction equivalent to 1 third that has a denominator of 6. Again, I'm going to think, what can I multiply the top and bottom by to get the 6? So 3 times 2 equals 6. So if I multiply the bottom by 2, I have to multiply the top by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And I'm going to do the other, pro the other number, which is 1 half. Again, I will need it to equal something with a denominator of 6. So think, what do I multiply 2 by to get 6? 2 times 3 is 6. So now I'm going to multiply the top 1 by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. The last part of this problem says to add the two fractions you found. So 2 6 plus 3 6 is equal to 5 6. This next part is about reducing fractions. So we're going to reduce fractions by dividing. I'm going to need to reduce 18 24 to the smallest to the lowest terms. Now, just like we can multiply a fraction by the same, the numerator and denominator by the same number to change it, we can divide the numerator and denominator by the same number to change it. So 18 and 24 are both even numbers. So I know I can divide both these numbers by 2. Okay, And as long as I divide the, both the top and the bottom by the same number, it's fine. It'll keep it the same, it just changes the name. So 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. And now I know that 9 and 12 can both be divided by 3. So I'm going to divide both these numbers by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now there's no other whole number that goes into both 3 and 4, so that will be my answer, 3 fourths. That's as far as I can reduce it. You can do the same thing with mixed numbers, but with mixed numbers, the whole number is going to stay the same. So 3 is going to be staying the same over here. So what I'm going to be reducing is the 8 twelfths. Again, I need to think, what number can I divide both these by? Well, I can divide them both by 2, but I can also divide them both by 4. So I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 2 thirds. So my answer is going to be 3 and 2 thirds. Okay. Write 12 ninths is a mixed number with a fraction reduced. So first we need to write it as a fraction. So I can do it two ways. One, I can reduce first or I can convert it first. If I reduce it first, 12 ninths turns into 4 thirds. Okay. And then I would divide 4 by 3. 3 goes into 4 one time, and there's 1 left over. So the answer is 1 and 1 third. If I convert first, my 12 ninths will equal 1 and 3 ninths, which then I would have to reduce 3 ninths to equal 1 and 1 third. The answer is the same either way, just sometimes it's easier to reduce first. 
Now we're going to simplify these numbers. Now if it says simplify, that just means to solve it and reduce it. So 7 ninths minus 1 ninth is equal to 6 ninths, which then I need to reduce, and I will divide both the top and the bottom by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 2, 3 is 3. So the answer is 2 thirds. With 70% as a reduced fraction, remember that a percent is a fraction with a denominator of 100. So 70% is the same as 70 over 100. Now there's a trick with zeros. If you have a zero on the top and on the bottom, you can go ahead and cross off that zero. So I end up with 7 tenths as my answer and it cannot be reduced farther. And that's it for this lesson.